It's Crystal with She Sows. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm going to plant okra in the ground and I'm so excited. It's my first time. I'm also going to be planting okra in three raised beds that I have. And I'll show you some things I'm going to use today in the garden. So the first tool I'm going to be using is a cultivator. Um, these They sell these online, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, things like that. If you do not have one of these, you can use a hand tool. Um, same thing, a little cultivator. And this is what I've used for an entire year. But I decided this year I wanted to invest in a longer one so that I don't have to bend down um, when working on the beds. The other thing I'm going to be using in that back corner is this little garden hoe. Um, I've had this thing for over a year now, but I haven't had to use it because I have literally use this hand tool to get weeds. So helping my back this year, hopefully that's um, less of an issue. I also, I also have all of my stakes from last year. I, so I use these for tomatoes, okra, um, peppers, all of my peppers, all the varieties of tomato and okra. And I'm gonna use them, reuse them. So the good thing about these, they're pretty inexpensive, but you can use them every year. And for backyard gardening, you know, you have a few plants. I think these are great. There are so many different ways to support your plants, um, but this is just how I used it, did it last year because I didn't have as many plants. And I also invested in some smaller ones this year. So they have the smaller stakes. They have some like this that have a, a little hook, a little hook that you can hook around your plant. These are a couple of dollars. So again, depends on what you wanna do, how much you wanna spend, but these are, these are fine. These are only about three feet tall. Um, these stakes are about six feet tall and they sell larger ones, like eight, eight feet tall. Um, you also can use wood, which wood eventually, you know, every few years you'll have to replace the wooden ones. Um, they have bamboo so many different things you can use to um, support your plants. So let's get started. Thanks for joining me. So the soil that I'm going to be adding is called a, a Vigoro all-purpose garden soil. So I will be putting that on the ground and then I'm going to put ground cover on top of it. I will actually be planting my seeds in this garden soil and the roots can hopefully grow into the ground and support itself. And don't forget the landscape pens. We'll definitely need a few of these.
That was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, let's plant the okra. I'm almost 18 inches off the wall here because okra gets really large. It, one plant can take up this much space, if you can imagine. So, if you look at the seed pack, it actually says 18 inches apart. So that's perfect. Seed depth, one half to one inch. This heat is so hot my camera actually turned off because it was too hot so okra loves that me mm, that's why I love fall and winter gardening <laughs> but spring and summer is a lot of fun and I love the crops that come from it so I went ahead and finished planting the okra but I will um, water them in now So in the beds, I actually planted one like on that corner and one on the other corner. These are two by twos, but I put two in each box, but I just put one in that corner and one in the other corner. Same on this bed, one in that corner, one in the other corner. Thanks so much for joining me in this hard work. It'll all be so worth it when we're eating fried and fresh okra. I look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks so much again, and don't forget to sow the seed.